Hey guys, in today's video we're going to take a look at the basic fundamentals of taking a hockey wrist shot. We're going to start by taking a look at the hand placement on our stick with our top and bottom hand. Our top hand, we want it to be right on the edge of our stick so that our pinky finger is almost falling off the stick. This is going to allow for the best mobility and wrist flexion and overall control of our stick, which is ultimately the main role of the top hand. Next, our bottom hand. When figuring out where you need to place your bottom hand on your stick, a good trick to use is to take your bottom hand elbow, place it on your top hand, and wherever that hand meets the stick is a rough estimate of where that bottom hand should be placed. The main role of the bottom hand and the bottom hand arm in taking a shot is that's where a majority of your power comes from, so you want to make sure you're holding on to your stick with your bottom hand very strong without locking your wrist. You still want to be able to have that wrist flexion and wrist mobility. First thing we're going to look at here when we're taking a shot is our stick blade and the pace placement of the puck on the blade. So when we're taking our shot and we bring it back into a loaded position, we want to have our blade cupped over top of the puck. To allow ourselves to do this, we again need to have the wrist mobility and wrist flexion in our top hand. When we're placing the puck on our blade, we want to have start the puck on the heel of our blade, and as we start our shot and our sweeping motion towards the net, the, blade, the puck will roll from the heel of the blade to the toe of the blade, and then towards the net. Next, we're going to look at our bottom hand on our stick. Again, this is where a majority of our shot, shot power comes from, so we want to make sure we're holding on to our stick very strong with our bottom hand without locking our wrist. And we want to start with our palm in an upright position, almost facing the sky. And when we finish our follow through and our shot, our wrist is going to snap over hard downwards towards the ice. As you can see here, the wrist is curled over, snapped over, downwards towards the ice. Next here we're going to look at the weight transfer of the shot, which is ultimately the most important part of a wrist shot. So when we bring the puck back into our loaded position, we begin by having all of our weight on our outside leg here. This is the outside leg because it is furthest from the net. This is the inside leg because it is closest to the net. So again, we want to load up all of our weight onto our outside leg, and as we begin our shot, we will transfer that weight from our outside leg to our inside leg and also we will have a strong rotation through our hips and through our core and through our shoulders towards the net. So as you'll see in the shot, our hips, our shoulders, our core all ends up in a hard, strong position towards the net. We'll look at that here in a different view. Again, we start with bringing the puck into a loaded position with our blade cupped over the puck. Our bottom hand is holding onto our stick in a very strong position without locking our wrist. We get all of our weight onto our outside leg, and as we start our shot, we transfer our weight from our outside leg to our inside leg, and also having a strong rotation through our hips, core, and shoulders finishing strong towards the net. Finishing in a nice, strong, upright position towards the net. 